What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Cornelia, back for another episode of Black News, a podcast where we break down current events, hot topics, and local stories involving Black people. Now let's get into it. First things first, real quick, thank y'all for supporting. Um, I say this all the time, and I'm going to keep saying it. You guys have been so fantastic with the support, liking and subscribing, downloading, listening on all apps where podcasts can be heard, find it in, in different places, Facebook, YouTube, just killing it. So thanks guys so much. Not more or much more to say about that because I've said it time and time again, but it's because I mean it. Um, appreciate y'all so much. And with that said, not gonna, not gonna keep beating around the bush with it. Let's get into these topics. Y'all ever have just one of them weeks? Man, like y'all, th- just them week. You like, man, this is, whew, this for the birds, bro. This, whew, t- exhaustion, okay? Fatigued, burned out. It's been a week. Hell, it's been a year and it's only April, 2022. Y'all, I, mm, y'all almost didn't get the Black News Podcast this week, okay? Y'all almost didn't get it. I'm recording this late. I just, I'm just tired. I am also, you know, we all go through phases in life or periods where things shift meaning or we have different perspectives. I, for some reason, have really been on this idea of just quitting literally everything and moving to like the beach in Thailand and living in a hut. I, I'm, I'm so... Y'all, I've researched and Googled places to live in Thailand for blacks like three times. I, the Google, y'all, when I tell you, if y'all looked at my Google search, y'all were like, dang, she really interested in what black people doing in Thailand. And I don't know what it is about Thailand. Something just, you know what it was. I'm going I'm to take this step back. I saw like, you remember Eat, Pray, Love, Eat, Pray, Love and that, that period where she went to like, was it Thailand? She was somewhere riding bikes in like this zen little hut with the net it the net around the bed like she was julia roberts was out there living life meditating eating good food i have been really eyeing that i don't know if it's a phase i don't yeah i don't even know what it would take to do something like that and i have a lot of things that i would love to do here that that are on my list i got plans I, though, also, because two things can be true at the same time, really am on this, forget all this stuff, sell the car, get rid of the apartment. If y'all want this couch, come and get it. I'm moving and living in a hut on the beach. I, hey, and this is a big age year for me too. Y'all, don't be surprised if you see me out here with board shorts on and a wife beater um in swim in a swimsuit just living life with a tan and not getting haircuts because I I'm sure the barbers don't be really hitting like that over overseas over in Thailand. I just don't know what it is. Um but it's nice to kind of think about stuff like that and and plan for something that may not necessarily happen but it's it's a good idea to explore. So let me know if I'm the only one. Maybe it's this year in particular 2022. I know we still have residual burnout from 2020 2021 and now we just thrust up into this year so that may be it but hell i don't know we'll see stay tuned on what happens with all of that and if you can relate let me know that too hit me up judge katanji brown jackson is officially a supreme court justice congratulations y'all we and i'm saying we because we black folk and I'm going to loop all of us in with this one. We did it. We officially have a black woman sitting on the bench. She is a Supreme Court justice. Shout out to Justice Katanji Brown Jackson. Now, I talked about this a few weeks ago here on the Black News Podcast. We talked about the importance and the significance of this nomination Still had had the vote to go through, still had the hearings. We saw the hearings. 
we saw the level of disrespect and clownery directed towards Judge Brown Jackson. And, you know, she held herself, she held herself well, right? She managed it and handled it well. There's only so much you can do with situations like that because it's designed to attack and it's designed to provoke some type of reaction. We saw that with Kavanaugh because that whole thing and then damn near broke down. Okay. Broke down. We saw this with Amy Coney Barrett. Um, and rightfully so because she's underqualified. Let's talk about it. Okay. But we won't cause this black news podcast, but we saw history being made with the nomination of the first black woman to the Supreme court. Now we don't necessarily have to, well, the significance of this is pretty obvious, right? But it's just, it's, it's so nice to see, you know, I'm not one of those people who, can't imagine certain things like some people be like I can't imagine I couldn't imagine I never would have thought I don't necessarily have the perspective when it comes to achieving things except for the black president I never would have thought we would have had a black president because mm, y'all and I, I'm sure some of the black news listeners are on the same page with this one that is a position that was historically held by white men and some people in this country don't like to see anybody else in power especially at that level of power so I never would have thought that we would have seen that but a black supreme court justice why not we always been overqualified we've been told we have to do work three times as hard to achieve the same level of success so why not and do I think judge brown jackson is the first qualified black woman to sit on the supreme court hell no but we know how that usually goes but this really made me emotional and and I be crying y'all I be crying I be crying of anything I cried today I was watching something an interview with Robin Roberts bust out crying okay I was watching something on YouTube bust out crying every time I hear the the song um earth wind and fire uh devotion bust out crying it don't matter I be crying if it's a chasing your dreams montage on a movie I'm gonna cry if they prepare for the big battle and it's a workout, um, you know, the little, little montage or or uh, workout like scene, I'm going to cry. It don't matter. A league of their own, the movie with the white girl bas- the baseball team, softballs, I'm going to cry. So y'all know I cry with this, but it's because it's just, it's good to see people accomplishing goals and for young black, brown, and non black and brown little girls and little boys to be able to see themselves in someone and have something to aspire to be and want to achieve and have examples I love that I love it so yes I was all emotional about it in my feelings Um, I know who else was in a feeling the Republicans y'all probably saw this on the news or if y'all watch it in real time after the first black black vice president announced that the first black Supreme Court justice will be appointed to the bench by a count of 53 to 47. That was the that was the vote count. Y'all, the Republicans, some of them got mad and walked out. I'm talking about straight salty. Pissed off, which I'm not surprised about, but y'all need to get it together. Get it together. If you're going, you ain't nobody walk out when they storm the Capitol. But that's a whole nother conversation. We're not going to go down that road here on Black News Podcast. The point is... Justice Brown Jackson is now on the Supreme Court, joining the likes of the legendary Thurgood Marshall, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Justice Sotomayor, and on and on and on. Y'all notice I I, I named the diverse diverse ones, okay? I didn't name those others. Also, side note, y'all Joe Biden getting old. Man, I know, look, whoo! They showed Joe and... Him making his statement. I've been, Joe ain't really been on my radar. Joe Biden ain't really like the top of my, the top of my mind. So I really don't be listening or watching him. Y'all, I saw him the other day. Yo, he, I don't, he ain't gonna make it another turn. What's, what's the next, what's plan B? Cause, cause old Joe, ah, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think it's gonna work out. 
I hope it does because that's going to be terrible if it does not. But whoo, buddy, buddy, you know. OK, um, with that, how did you guys feel about the first black Supreme Court justice? That is a woman being appointed to the bench. Lifetime appointment. It's a big deal. Tell me y'all thoughts about it. What did y'all think? Were y'all emotional like me? Were y'all kind of nonchalant? Or or what were you expecting at all? I know there were some other options, some other candidates that, that names were thrown out there. Who did you prefer or who would you have preferred if it was not her? If anybody at all. Hit me up. Let me know. Um, y'all know where to find me on social media at Canelia. Let's get into honorable mention. I got a quick Will Smith update. Will Smith has been banned from attending the Oscars and any related Academy Awards events for the next 10 years because of the slap. I know we tired of talking about Will Smith and Chris Rock. I know we fatigued. I know I am too, but I wanted to give this update because we were on watch or standby to see what the Academy was going to do. The question was, are they going to take the award? Are they going to ban him? Is it a lifetime ban? It is for 10 years. I personally think it's a it's a bit ex- assess- excessive. 10 years is a bit much. I would have assumed it would have been about five, but the Academy did what they had to do. They're also, like I said, not taking the award, which I'm not upset about either because once you start doing that, they're going to need to follow through and take them awards from Harvey Weinstein and them. And they're not going to do that because if so, they would have been done it. So that is the consequence that has been put on to Will Smith. Um, also, Dressa from the Fire Heartbeats wrote an article talking about we, he should give his award back. Dressa, respectfully, no. Sir, respectfully, all due respect, Mr. Lennox, nah, we good. Um, next, Chris Rock also said he ain't speaking until he gets paid. He's been doing comedy shows. Y'all know he's been sold out. Ticket sales went through the roof, but he ain't really been talking about it. And he also didn't elaborate on what ain't speaking until he gets paid means. Does that mean he's not speaking until he gets an interview deal to have a sit down with somebody and talk about it? Maybe Gail King, Robin Roberts. Does that mean that he is suing the Academy? Does that mean he's suing the Smiths? Who knows? Stay tuned. But Chris Rock said he ain't speaking. On the other hand, his brother Tony said Will Smith can catch these hands on Sizzite. Also, adding to that, y'all still blaming Jada Pinkett Smith for everything. I done seen Mo Think Pieces tweets digging up of old information about Jada Pinkett Smith than I have ever seen. And it really is bothering me. It's really bothering me because, and I talked about this on Black News some months ago. I feel like this all goes back to the romanticizing of Will Smith to the point where we can accept the fact that that man acts and does things at his own will because we have romanticized and deemed him this great and ideal man so in our minds and I'm not saying our because I'm including this I'm talking about some of the the non-black news listeners who who may be feeling this way so in our minds it must be Jada Pinkett Smith that's doing this thing these things to him or causing him to behave this way because there's no way that the the great and angelic Will Smith would ever behave in such a manner that's the vibe that I'm getting and with that now everybody is seeming to not everybody some people are seeming to point the blame back at Jada saying that she should have done this she should have done that if she wouldn't have did this if she wouldn't have did that she still loved Tupac she shouldn't have married him Uh, entanglements blah 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 she mean and she's a puppet and toxic what about maybe Will Smith is toxic Maybe both of them are. Maybe some people just raggedy. We all have raggedy moments. Or better yet, maybe the man just made a mistake like all of us do. Not sure how that got put back on Jada Pinkett Smith. So I'm just highlighting that because I see it and I don't like it. Honestly, I think everybody should be held accountable for their own actions. Will Smith included. Also adding... 
what I've noticed, y'all believe anything, man. People really will believe anything. There was this article in Us Weekly floating around talking about Jada did an interview and said that she didn't like what Will did as well and blah, blah, blah. Do y'all know Us Weekly is like the tabloids? Have y'all not realized, and when I say y'all, you know, I'm talking about the black musicians, I'm talking about the other ashies outside of this tight-knit group of ours. Us Weekly is basically like the boss up of white news publications. They ba- boss up be lying. This it's, it's like that where they just be making up stuff. Ain't nobody of no stature in the ho- in Hollywood or in the industry giving no interviews to Us Weekly. That is known information. But the fact that this Us Weekly in- interview and article been floating around tells me some people will literally believe anything to the point where having full on debates, working themselves up and getting mad based on an article from a publication that ain't even respected. We got to do better. Y'all, we got to do better. I swear. Um, hoping hoping we do do better, um, but not, not, not expecting the most. Also still expecting that Red Table Talk interview because I know some of y'all talking about y'all tired of it, but guess who gonna be watching? Me. Okay, guess who gonna be locked in on Facebook Live? Yeah, girl. Guess what time I'm going to be watching it as soon as it drop. Guess where I'm going to watch it. Wherever I'm posted up at on my cellular telephone. Then I'm going to send the link to my iPad and my laptop computer. I'm tuned in. I'll let y'all know when it finally hits um, on Black News. I'm assuming it's going to be the next season of Red Table uh, Red Table Talk. But we'll talk, We'll be updated and we'll be abreast on the happenings before that. But just giving y'all that quick honorable mention updates about the Smith family. DJ Khaled and Ashanti got their star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Congratulations to both of them. Big deal. Huge deal. It's usually a huge event where people speak on your behalf. You have friends, family and guests standing next to the star with you at the unveiling. And in this case... DJ Khaled, a.k.a. Mr. We The Best, and our girl Ashanti finally got their star on the Walk of Fame. Um, And mainly bringing this up because there was a Jay-Z sighting at the DJ Khaled Walk of Fame uh, revealing, and y'all know I love me some Hove, okay? Y'all know I love me some Jay-Z. There was a Jay-Z sighting up there looking all of 50-something years old just like he is. I love it. So shout out to both of those people Puff and Fat Joe were also in attendance at the DJ Khaled's um, star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame reveal. So, or celebration, as I would like to call it. Um, So kudos to all of them for being in attendance and those two for being honored. And speaking of music, because we are kind of in that area, Mary Mary and BB and CC Wine has got a verses coming up on this Sunday. It is going to be a good old time. Now, y'all know I said I'd be going to the verses and I'm going to be going. I ain't going to this one. Okay, I love Mary Mary and I love BB and CC Winans, but I wasn't a gospel kid per se. I went to church, but I wasn't like reciting the scriptures and knowing all of the gospel songs that played on the gospel station. I was listening to rap music, okay, cussing and uh, rapping hard. I, I did not own no gospel CDs. If they played on the radio, I knew it. They sung it in church. That was my jam. But mm, I wasn't like a church kid. So this particular verse is, while I think it's going to be good and I'm going to tune in and probably have a great time, I'm not going to go in and see it live because it's just don't, I don't feel like, um, I wouldn't be the best guest here. But I'm excited about it. Y'all know I love me some verses. Even though they be trying to charge us and they was doing the most and the camera angles. And I don't know. I'm going to watch on YouTube and I'm going to just be along for the ride. Um, singing Shackles and um, what's the song that was out in the 80s with BB and CC when they had on the like the flowy outfits outside. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm going to be singing along to that. So um, it's going to be good. Let me know if y'all can watch and, and tune in. And also, lastly, with this honorable mention piece, I would love to start highlighting black owned businesses on this podcast. 
I feel like I brought this up early during like the first couple episodes of Black News, but I never really followed through. I would love to showcase a black owned business every week on here. If you guys are listening and you a small business black owned, whether you sell candles, make like body scrubs or whatever, lotions or butters, got a restaurant, let me know. Hit me up. I would love to share information about your business on here to the Black News listeners. Um, maybe just like a spotlight, talk about what your business is, where, where it's at, send people the link, tell them to check out the food or the item, if it's some candle, whatever. I keep going back to candles. I love me some candles. But, you know, whatever it is, makeup, just send send me the info. Hit me up on social media at Cornelia with your product or your business details. And I'm going to shout you out and highlight it um, on, on the, the podcast. So I would love to do that. So if you're interested in that, hit me up. If you're a listener and you would like to hear more of that, let's, let's do it. Um, encourage your friends and family to reach out and, and give me the info so I can spotlight them. That's it for this week's episode of Black News, y'all. Thanks again. Thank you. And thank you again so much for sticking with us, supporting the podcast, liking and subscribing on all apps where podcasts can be heard, rating five stars and leaving a comment. It helps more than you know. So I really, really appreciate it. And keep sharing Black News with all of your friends and family. Be sure to hit me up on social media if you got ideas for topics. Or just hit me up in general to let me know you've been listening. Let me know your thoughts. I'm at Cornelia on all platforms across the board. That's at Cornelia like Kenny and Ophelia. Also check my website. I got some shows coming up in Los Angeles County. Hopefully get on the road soon. But for now, if you're in the LA area, hit me up. Check Cornelia.com for show dates and details. And as always... Thanks again so much, guys. I hope you have a fantastic week. Keep supporting, keep growing, keep building, keep staying safe, and keep staying healthy. As always, again, I'll see you back here next time, same time, same place. Bye.